Welcome, namaste, and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. In this video, we're going to discuss on the question: Does cycling affect male fertility? Now, to answer this question appropriately, we must first understand that cycling. There are two types of cycling, right? You have one that's called as endurance cycling, and the other one is recreational cycling. Now, in individuals who engage in endurance cycling, they basically cycle every day, every other day, or you know, they cycle for extremely long distances. And there are small number of studies which have actually looked at the seven parameters of such individuals. And in endurance cyclists, basically what the studies have found is that there is a decrease in the, in the number of motile sperm, there is a decrease in the sperm concentration and also there is an increase in the number of inflammatory markers that is present in the semen, especially with a specific molecule called as interleukins. Now interleukins have been implicated in male infertility because in the individuals where interleukins present in the semen are highly measured, high, are high or there is high amount of interleukins present in the semen, the sperm motility is conversely very 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 low. So interleukins basically impact sperm motility to a certain extent. So with excessive cycling basically what happens here is that especially with endurance cycling, there are studies which suggest that uh, with, in, with endurance cycling the sperm count including the motility as well as the sperm shape which is also called as morphology reduces and the number of inflammatory markers increases. However, there are also studies which suggest that with, gentle, with gentler forms of cycling, say if you are cycling only 10 kilometers or 15 kilometers and you are doing it twice a week or on an alternate day, there is no association between the seven parameters as well as the frequency of cycling. Why this and this, why, and this is fairly straightforward to understand because what we suggest to our patients is in general you have to mix and match your exercises. So say one day you can go for walking, the next day you can go for swimming, the other day you can go for cycling and then you can you know rinse and repeat. So overall there is going to be a net improvement in your seven parameters over a 16 week time frame. The minimum is 8 week, the maximum is usually a 16 week time frame. So if you are going for cycling in a gentle manner and you know say you are not going to engage in endurance cycling then what's very important to understand here is that you're not going to see any a dip in your semen parameters. However, if you're very passionate about cycling and you en do want to engage in endurance cycling, you can cycle and don't check, don't do a semen analysis at least a month after your endurance cycling event. Say today you've gone on a 50 kilometer bike ride or gone on a 100 kilometer bike ride and you're, you're really taking it out. Wait for 30 days and then recheck your semen analysis and then you'll probably find it to be normal. But immediately after the cycling, the first four weeks, you know, there's going, there's going to be a certain degree of inflammation in your body. And basically what happens is definitely there's going to be a dip in your semen parameters. I still strongly advocate for cycling. Cycling is very, very good for health. But when it comes to fertility, you have to balance cycling along with other, other exercises. And that's the best way forward. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share this video with all your friends as well as loved ones. And, you know, like, comment and subscribe. See you soon with another video. This is Dr. Shah. Vanakam and Namaste.